So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, today our topic is nuclear pharmacy. We will learn today about nuclear pharmacy. You are aware about nuclear. What is a nucleus? So, it is uh, related from the particles which are mostly radioactive. So, it is also known as radio pharmacy also. In nuclear pharmacy, another name is radio pharmacy. You see that a pharmacist is prepare, preparing doses for, new, for preparing radio pharmaceuticals. Pharmacist is preparing radio pharmaceuticals in a hot lab. So it's a radio. They, what they are preparing? They are preparing radio pharmaceuticals. So the definition of radio pharmacy is that it is a subspecialty of pharmacy, deals with receiving, preparations, quality control, storage, and dispensing of radio pharmaceuticals. Radio pharmacy also deals with disposal of radioactive waste documentations, research, designing, development of new radio pharmaceuticals. So, as you are aware of various medical specialties, in medicine, there are different specialties. Similarly, there are, similarly, there are sub-specialties of pharmacy. You are aware of the pharmacy, there clinical pharmacies, their industrial pharmacies, their so many names, so veterinary pharmacies, their similarly, this is radio pharmacy. It is also a branch of that pharmacy. So what it deals, what the function of radio pharmacy is that, but the, the disposal of radioactive waste. Now, after the completion of that process, whether for diagnostic or whether for therapeutic use of radio pharmaceuticals, the radioactive waste has to be properly disposed of. Then you have, they have to prepare various documentations of the usage of these radio pharmaceuticals. Also research for the new uh, diagnostics or, uh, or uh, treatment of the radio pharmaceuticals. They are also uh, making designing designing how to apply these radio pharmaceuticals, development of new radio pharmaceuticals. So then it all covered under the heading of radio pharmacy. Further, we can say that radio pharmaceuticals derived from two words. First is radioactive and pharmaceutical. They're two words, radioactive and pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical are aware that they deal with the drugs and radioactive means which gives radiations. It is a medical product containing radio tracer, present in minute quantity, not intended for pharmacological action. What is a radio tracer? So radio tracer or radioactive label is a chemical compound in which one or more atoms have been replaced by, by, by radio nucleides so by virtue of its radioactive decay, it can be used to explore the mechanism of chemical reaction by tracing the path that the radioisotopes follows from reactants to products. So it is a they are radio tracer. Now what is the radio nucleides is an atom that has excess nuclear energy, making it unstable. So it is a nucleides. The radio nucleides, an unstable species containing specific atom, atomic number and responsible for emission of rays. So you can see on right side a radio pharmaceutical. It is a different dose forms. It's a different drug as compared to other ordinary pharmaceuticals. It has the label of that symbol of radioactive also shown and its color in. In, in white, uh, so in yellow color label is there. So all the description written over there. So you can say it is a radio pharmaceutical combination of radioactive 
and pharma, radioactive material and pharmacy. Is it clear? And radio pharmacy, the service and unit from where the radio pharmaceuticals are provided is called radio pharmacy and heart laboratory. The person who rendered the service is called radio pharmacist. So the service and unit from where the radio pharmaceuticals are provided is known as radio pharmacy. In a hospital where the drugs are applied are known as hospital pharmacy. So industrial pharmacy means where the drugs are formulated, drugs are manufactured, that is a industrial pharmacy. Clinical pharmacy means where the drugs has to be applied to the patient. It is a, in a hospital, in a clinic known as clinical pharmacy. Now, understand the definition of radio pharmacy? The service and unit from where the radio pharmaceuticals are provided is called radio pharmacy. Pharmacy and heart, heart and heart laboratory because all the preparation has to be done in the lab. It's a different uh, in a style as compared to other hospital uh, pharmacy. Now the person who rendered the service is called radio pharmacist. Now organization, the radio pharmacy service is rendered from a division of hospital pharmacy or by a section under nuclear medicine department. So it is a render from a uh, hospital pharmacy or it is a, a section under nuclear medicine department. The management of nuclear medicine department is that it contains the physicians, radio pharmacists, medical physicists, nuclear medicines, technologists. The physician can be an oncologist if it is applied for uh, cancer patients. It, it can be a uh, diagnostic. He have it, uh, experience in radiations. Then they have a radio pharmacist over there, medical physicist who is trained in physics because mostly these uh, equipments are run by medical. You must have a degree in physics, masters of whatever and fill in physics, and then he has an experience in uh, radio uh, radioactive materials. So he's known as medical physicist also. Then. Under that one, the nuclear medicine technologist who have handled these materials. This discriminatory properties of radio uh, pharmaceutical are different. A radio pharmaceutical has the following disc discriminatory features. Presence of radioactivity, must they have a radioactive presence. Scarcity of pharmacological effect, having short half-life, little route of administration, Dose measurement in terms of radioactive units, half-life, practice, regulations, restriction and quantity use. So what is discrimination difference? Note that the unstability of that. They have presence of, they must be a radioactive. They have a radioactivity. They must be radioactive. Radioactive scarcity of pharmacological effects. They have uh, from action over there. They must have short life because, as compared to other drugs, they have longer life. Here, when you apply these things, they have to be excreted fastly. Usual route of administration by which oral route or by injectable, whatever it is to be applied. Dose measurement in terms of radioactive units because in, in terms of other pharmaceuticals, you can measure in grams, milligrams, whatever different units. The measurement in terms of radioactive units has to be done. You must know about various radioactive units. Half-life, also known as these radio materials. Practice regulation, how it can be applied. Restriction on quantity use. So it is a very delicate, very uh, 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 typical subject which have to be applied very carefully. Half-life of radio pharmaceuticals? There are three half-lives, uh, lives, physical half-life. Time necessary for the radioactive uh, atoms to decay one half of their original number. Now mostly you can see the radioactive material, they have a different half-lives, the original half-life. Then there's a biological half-life, time required for the body to eliminate one half of the administered dose, that is biological half-life. Then effective half-life, time required for an administered radiopharmaceutical dose to be reduced by one half due to both
physical decay and biological elimination. Applications of radio pharmaceuticals. The radio pharmaceuticals are applied for what? Diagnosis, treatment, and palliative care. It has three uses. It has three applications, three uses. Three. First, they can be applied for diagnostic purpose. For the, uh, how to find out a disease, a stage of disease. Then they can be applied for different treatment of different cancers or where they are applied. Palliative, just to control the disease over there. The diagnostic application. So mostly what they do, gamma emitting radio pharmaceuticals are used to probe physiologic and pathophysiological functions of human body. They apply gamma emitting radio pharmaceuticals. Then large number of radio pharmaceuticals are available to trace one or more particular functions of human body. For optimal detection efficiency by gamma camera, gamma energies of between 1,000 1, kilo electron, electron volt. It is a KAV kilo electron volt and 200 kilo electron volt are desirable. Example, technetium 99M Iodine 123, Enidium triple one, Thallium 201, Gallium 67. So these are various radioactive materials which are used for diagnostic purposes. Therapeutic applications. Radiation emitted from them due causes selectively damage to neoplastic cells of the body, means cancer cells. They normally contain a radionuclide. They normally contain a radionuclides that decay by emitting a beta particle. The beta particle should be ideally within the range 0.5 to 1 mega electrovolt. Half life is normally of several days to provide reasonable time of action. Example is iodine 131 and phosphorus. 32. So these are applied for therapeutic uses. Palliative applications used to improve quality of life but cannot eradicate a disease. Example is stronitum, stronitium 89 and phosphorus 32 are used to relieve the pains due to cancer metastasis in bone at terminal cancer stages. I think we have to finish over here. So next time we'll go for